Let's turn on the TV. Let's make sure we get the antenna up. Uh, I actually forgot. I gotta plug in the TV. We keep it unplugged uh, just so we don't have a, a parasitic draw when we don't need to. As you can see, the little blue light there. So let's turn on the TV. All right, guys, let's talk about uh, batteries now. Um, I did one of the dumbest things that you could probably do, and our RV came with one house battery. It was a, a Group 27 uh, Harris battery brand. Uh, not a very good brand, but uh, in about, I'd say six months or a year, uh, I went back to Camping World and had them add another battery and they added a, a next side, uh, Group 27. And, you know, for the first six months or so, it, it worked fine. We could run our both fantastic fans at night and a little TV watching and and some uh, LED light usage and and still be you know well above 50% in the morning that we could just cut on the generator and charge them up but this last uh, camping trip dry camping uh, we weren't able to do that um, kind of afraid to, to run the fans all night long especially both of them and uh, so it was it was definitely time to fix my mistake that I did and to get a uh, pair of batteries that were matched up and I originally wanted to get the uh, Trojan T105s and uh, unfortunately our battery tray up underneath our steps here according to the RV is not tall enough for the uh, for the Trojans they're almost 11 inches tall and this uh, this bank here is up to this thing is, is about 10 inches so I had to go back to 12 volts or had to do 12 volts again so what i did was i went with some uh, duracell group 31s and it's backwards there on you but you can, can kind of see it there um they're 105 amps each so give me a total of 210 amps so hopefully this will work better and uh, i wanted to put it through a little test here so let's check the the status of them here hold on one second okay now i got it kind of hooked up where you can kind of see and they're right there at 13.12 13.3 amps so they're according to my chart here they're well above 100 percent so 12.6 and higher is 100 percent and by the way you can get one of these charts you can just print it up off the internet and what i did was i uh, i just printed it and laminated it and I keep it right here by the stairs in this uh, shoe organizer thing. I keep my multimeter and I keep this in there. And uh, that way I can check it every now and then. You can add uh, battery monitors and just haven't done that yet. But anyway, this is a good way to keep up. 50% as you can see is 12.06. So you definitely don't want to go down below 12.06. I would say you definitely don't want to go down between or below 12.1. This 12.2 is at 60 percent so if you just remember that 12.1 or higher you're good to go so let's give this a test uh it was re registered in 13.12 13.13 is 12.29 and so we'll come back periodically and check on this and this is a may 22nd so 29 or 229 May 22nd and it was reading 13.12 to give this a proper test let's turn on some things first let's turn on the house batteries so that they're on now and let's open up this fan and 
Let's turn it on. We'll turn it on the two. There's three levels. Two is the mid one. I got it sucking air there. And let's turn on the TV. Let's make sure we get the antenna up. Uh, I actually forgot. I gotta plug in the TV. We keep it unplugged uh, just so we don't have a, a parasitic draw when we don't need to. As you can see, the little blue light there. So let's turn on the TV. TV's going on. Hold on a second. Let me get. Let me make sure we got the power antenna power booster on there. So you can see, I turn on that light. And let's find a menu button here. right there and let's change it to go over the air there you go as you can see it is playing so we're gonna leave that playing we're gonna come we got LED bulbs in this light so we're gonna turn those on just for for sake check it and then we got this one last and we're going to turn it on to two also all right guys so we got the uh the house batteries on we got two fantastic fans running on speed number two we have one set of lights on uh, with led lights in them and then we have a 12 volt tv and it was reading 13.12, 13.13, and it is 233. So we're going to come back after a little while. We'll check them batteries and see uh, see what level they're at. All right, guys. It's been uh, been about an hour and a half. It's uh, 359. And uh, going to check the batteries again. Do this one handed. And it's showing 12.4, which 12.42 is 80%. So it's dropped down, dropped down a little bit. And uh that's still with the TV on, two fans going and the light on. Uh and we'll go ahead and turn off the the uh the TV and the light. Go ahead and turn that off. There, that's off. And we're going to turn off this light here. This LED, that's been on for an hour and a half. Normally you wouldn't have it on for an hour and a half, but really shouldn't be drawn that much. The fridge is not on though, I will say. And the fans have been on. Uh, that number two position there for an hour and a half and it's down to about 80 percent so we'll continue uh testing this and come back in about uh three hours and the uh, fans are still going the tv is off the lights are off i ran those for about an hour and a half uh simulating their use uh, if you remember last time we looked the uh, multimeter said 12.40 and according to the chart that's a little bit less than 80 percent but let's look at it now let's see 
we're at 12.46, 12.4546. So 12.42 is actually 80%. So we're we're back at at 80%. I think that the uh, the uh, draw from the t TV and the light at the time uh, was causing it to to show a uh, lesser, and I think it was able to equalize back out some and uh, show better. So. Anyway, we'll come back a little bit later. All right, guys. We are going on 728, so it's been about five hours. And the fans are still going on speed two. And they're showing at 12.41, which according to my thing is almost just dropped down below 80%. So uh, still going good. Uh, and this was reflecting about an hour and a half of light usage. Uh, uh, a single light, actually has two lights in it, but it's, it's a single receptacle. And an hour and a half of TV watching. So, oh. All right, guys. Sorry if it's kind of dark here, but uh, it is going on. It's 9.30, actually. 9.30 on the 22nd. So it's been seven hours since we started this uh, test here. Uh, I started off with both Fantastic Fans running on second speed. They're speed one through three, and they're on the middle speed. And I had the TV running for about an hour and a half, and then I had one of the uh, LED lights on for about an hour and a half straight. Um, just trying to uh, depict some maybe some real uh, time testing that might be going on. Uh, there may be more uh, usage of power while dry camping than uh, than this test. But you know there may be less. But anyway, just wanted to to try to give a test of these new batteries. And I'm going to check here with the now it's at 12.35, 12.34, and according to our thing here I'm not sure if you can see it 12.32 is 70 percent 12.42 is 80 percent so we're we're uh, somewhere around 73 74 75 percent somewhere so we don't want to get down below this 60 percent uh, actually we don't want to get down below 50 percent so 50 percent is 12.06 so we still have a little ways to go and after seven hours uh, I think this is a pretty good test that we could make it through the night with uh, doing, you know, running things that we're we've been running. Uh, give us enough time in the morning to run the generator for a couple hours, uh, charge up the batteries, uh, pull out the the uh, solar suitcase, and try to keep some things topped off during the day. And then even in the evening, some places have where you can run the generator for a couple hours. So definitely. Uh, definitely is is a good thing to have these two batteries they're group 31 batteries uh, 105 amps each so you know not even get down to below 70 percent I think that's that's pretty good after seven hours of, uh, of straight usage so anyway hopefully you enjoyed this test um, like I said you know it's not it's not a complete test it's not a very you know scientific test or, or you know things could change uh depending on how you use your power but uh i'm we're happy with this we're satisfied with it and uh i guess the real test will be when we go camping with it so we'll see you later guys and uh have a good night bye mm -hmm.